famous actress Drea Di Matteo, which if you don't know who that is, is Adriana from The Sopranos. If you didn't know, she does OnlyFans now. And in a recent interview, she admitted that her children help edit her OnlyFans photos. She said that her son, specifically, edits her photos. Her son is a minor, first of all. So here you have a woman who is making money on the internet by exposing herself in a sexual, explicit way. She is fulfilling the urges of random men all over the internet just to make a dollar. You have your child helping you edit the photos that you're putting on this website. Do you know what the men on this website are doing with these photos that you put of yourself up there? They're doing things that are not very appropriate and you have your son playing a part in that. That is absolutely disgusting. It's a perfect representation of where we are today as a society. People's minds have been so corrupted by degeneracy that there's nothing they aren't willing to do to make a dollar. You have your son editing inappropriate photos of you for random grown men around the world to do inappropriate things with. I just can't wrap my mind around this. A article published by New York Post. Put the link to this article in the description if you want to read it yourself. Soprano star Drea DiMatteo admits her 13-year-old son edits her OnlyFans photos. 13, right? Former Soprano star Drea D. Mateo shared how her 13-year-old son, Waylon Blackjack, edits her OnlyFans photos for her during an episode of Not Today Pal podcast. Before you start, your son was outside saying he edits your OnlyFans photos, the host said to Mateo. The mom of two responded, oh yeah. He's like, so what do you want me to do with the bikini line here? Yeah, so you don't have to apologize to them, I don't think, she remarked. Reflecting on the family dynamic of her new line of work, Di Matteo emphasized that she always makes sure her children are comfortable with the circumstances. No, but they don't see the girl shots, but I go over that with them before I ever put them out. Di Matteo said, I was like, are you okay with this? Because it's like, if I were to do it in a movie, because I would make out with girls in movies all day long before I'd even make out with boys. Mateo opened up to Fox News in September about her decision to embrace OnlyFans was driven by financial necessity and professional challenges exacerbated by her stance against the COVID vaccine. According to the Emmy winner, she was forced to switch careers and figure new things out because my own industry thinks I'm a savage. I used to have a lot of money and then all of a sudden I went from being allowed to work to never being allowed to work again. I was never the kind of actor that took jobs just to stay in the business. I literally took jobs to feed my family, she shared at the time. Okay, that last part about her being excluded from the industry for not taking the vaccine, I get it. That is respectable, that's understandable, but that doesn't mean you have to jump directly into OnlyFans. And that definitely doesn't mean you have to have your kids so involved with your OnlyFans career. I mean, let's just be real here. Let's call it what it is. Let's just be frank. You're on the internet being a whore for money and you drag your kids in it? Hey guys, would you guys be okay with this if I posted this on the internet for random men around the world to do very nasty and inappropriate things to these photos with? Would you be okay if I uploaded this? It's just me making out with a girl. To your kids? Hey, hey, um, Hey, Blackjack, can you um, edit my OnlyFans photo? Yeah, I want the bikini line to look like that, like right there. I know you're only 13, but this is crazy. And as I said in when this video first started, I'm a huge Sopranos fan. I love The Sopranos. It's my favorite show of all time. So I'm even more interested in this story, in this interview, due to the fact that it's my favorite show. And now you're telling me Adriana from The Sopranos is actually Adriana in real life? <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout. There's many more videos coming your way very soon.